So when people ask me the question, you know, should I be doing live full time or part time? I always give them the same answer. Now, obviously myself, I've been doing the ride share thing for about two years, almost two years now, and I've been doing it full time. But currently I'm actually about to be making the transition into doing it part time. Now, the way that I got started, I really didn't have anything going on. So obviously I'm going to be doing it full time. And that should answer your question. If you don't have a job, you don't have anything going on, yeah, absolutely do it full time. But the answer that I always give people, I think that lifting Uber is better as a part-time or side hustle gig. Now, the reason I say that is because when you're driving 40, 50, 60 hours sometimes a week, it starts to wear down on you. You start to wear down from driving so much, dealing with all these energies in your car. You have to uh, maintain your car up to a certain level. You have to manage your money correctly. And you also have to motivate yourself because you don't have anyone telling you, hey, you have to be at work at this certain time or you could possibly lose your job, right? Like if you don't show up with Lyft and Uber, nothing happens. You just don't make money. Um, now, what you hear is a lot of stories about people who will quit their jobs. They'll like quit their jobs and do Lyft and Uber full time. And then something happens to their car. They weren't managing their money correctly. And now they're out of luck, right? Are they in a market that actually just doesn't support them being able to do it full time? Maybe it's the pay, maybe it's just not enough uh, ride requests. Most of the time it's still gonna all revert back to the amount of money that you're making. And they just can't manage the situation properly and they start getting behind on things. And that's a bad, that's a bad situation, right? So if you use it as a part-time or side hustle gig, you can actually start to then begin to use it as more of a tool. And that's where I'm gonna be transitioning to. You can use it as a tool to get to the next level in your life. You can make money to either save for vacations, pay for gifts for people, um, invest the money to make even more money, whatever you wanna do. Um, and that's what I would suggest. If you have a job, don't quit your job to do this full time. And the great thing about doing it part-time or more as a side hustle, even if you do have a job, no one's stopping you from still going out and working 40 hours, 50 hours a week on top of what you're doing at your job, if you have that time. But now you're not dependent on actually having to go out and work those hours. Personally now, doing it full time at the current moment, this is my primary source of income, I have to go out and meet a certain quota, right? So this is, this is my job. Whereas you do it part time, you won't be as bogged down on driving when Friday and Saturday does come, right? So you can go out on those, which are the best days, by the way, Friday and Saturday, I think in any market would be some of the best days, possibly Sundays, um, depending on where you live at. Um, I know in Portland, Sunday mornings during the summer were, were great, but you won't be bogged down. I'm bogged down a little bit now by the time it gets to Friday and Saturday because I've worked you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then by the time Friday and Saturday comes, now I have to deal with these this high energy levels of people. I've already been driving a lot. Don't get me wrong, I get through it, but it would be a lot easier for me to go out and work 14 hours, 15 hours on Friday and Saturday had I not been driving all week and really be able to rack up the money. So should you do a full-time or part-time? I think you should just test it out. Um, my opinion would always be, hey, go into it with a, a mind state that you're gonna be doing it part-time and that the fact that you can work as many hours as you want anyway um, and see where it takes you. See if it's something that you like or don't like. Overall, you're gonna have to make that decision. Uh, I would say, you know, see if, see if your market is paying, I think at least a dollar a mile, um, which we don't get here in Atlanta, it, it sucks. Um, but if your market's paying like more than a dollar a mile or more, then yeah, tear it up, take advantage of it. Uh, that's one thing that I would suggest is when you first start out, you're gonna like doing it. It's gonna be a fun job. Um, and that's another thing with doing it full time. It's not as fun as much anymore. Now I do still have those fun days, but when I first started, it was like almost every day was fun. It was new, it was, it was exciting. You know, you met a lot of cool people. You got to explore the city um, and it was just entertaining. When you first get started and, and once you start to get that feeling, kill it. Any free time that you have, kill it. Don't waste time, go ahead and capitalize on the moment. That way you can rack up as much money as you want. I mean, there's never been a time in history where we could go out, where just the average person could go out and just start making money like, just like that, right? Like you would have had to, you would have had to have like a real skill set or something like that, that you could kind of go into the market and sell but now you can just go out and just like drive. You know what I mean? Like you don't even have to get a tax. Like even with taxis back in the day, you had to actually still go get a taxi license and go through a process um, to be able to drive taxis. You don't even have to do that. You just have to have a, a 
card that meets the requirements, a driver's license, and a background that meets the requirements. Um, and you can go out and start making money. So that's my opinion on the situation. Do it more as a side hustle or a part-time thing. Um, and if you're not doing anything with your life, then do it full-time. But either way, whichever way you decide to, to go with it, just capitalize. Capitalize on the situation and use it as a tool to get to the next level. Peace.